show. We were just talking about some national politics. We got a lot of stuff we'll talk about uh, locally next hour here, but we're going to wrap up some national politics right now. We were just discussing uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's big uh, speech at Madison Square Garden for the Trump rally. Obviously, a lot of reactions to that. But it got me thinking about that rally. I saw a lot of buildup, a lot of discussions, uh, conversations happening leading up to the rally. And I wanted your take on this, Spike. If you thought sure. this, these were fair comparisons or, I mean, I'm asking that kind of facetiously, but uh, listen to this. This is Hillary Clinton talking about, this is before the rally obviously happened, but I believe she's on, um, I think she's on MSNBC talking about the Trump rally at Madison Square Garden. And she has a very interesting comparison, which a lot of people, Tim Waltz, some other folks picked up and started running with as well. Now, one other thing that you'll see next week, Caitlin, is Trump actually... Uh, reenacting uh, the Madison Square Garden rally in 1939. I write about this in my book. Uh, President Franklin Roosevelt was appalled that neo-Nazis, fascists in America, were lining up to essentially pledge their support for the kind of government that they were seeing in Germany. So I don't think we can ignore it. Now do you think that's a fair comparison for Hillary Clinton to make? Absolutely. The Trump rally is like the 1939 Nazi rally? It's not what she said. It's not what she said. I can play it again. Sure, go ahead. And go ahead. You can play it again, but what she said was there was, a, there was a Nazi rally Okay. in 1939 New York City. Yeah. Trump is recreating this rally. He's recreating a Nazi rally. Okay. But she's not saying it's a Nazi rally. No, she's saying she, the, the, <laughs> supporting the kind of government... That was being supported in 1939 Germany. All right, Tim. Now Waltz. We, we can be splitting hairs here well, it's not and really talking about semantics here, but when you talk about the the messaging from the stage at Madison Square Garden, not just from Tony or Heathcliff or whatever Hinchcliff, yeah, Tony Hinchcliff. but from every speaker, every speaker going down the list yesterday. You think it was Nazi-ish? I think it was fascistic. I think it was fascist speech about the other, about about monsters, about slaughtering the up and quote slaughtering those people about dehumanizing, about a, a mountain of garbage. This is the that's kind a, of... That's the Hinchcliffe joke he's uh, referenced. Yeah. I, well, but, but that kind of speech came from everybody that spoke yesterday. Every All, single person that spoke I, said I, that. I, I can pull you a dozen different examples from various speakers. From, did, you from, watch, from, did you watch the whole rally? I watched, I watched clips of these speakers okay. that were highlighted to say the others, to vilify, to demonize, to dehumanize don't the political think, opposition. Don't you think, though, that that's... Rhetoric? Ridiculous that this is a Nazi rally. Uh, well, you keep hanging on that word. Was was the well, speech? Well, it's a big word when people it is. say it. Listen, well, to Tim, he'll, this he'll, is Tim Waltz. Yeah. Donald Trump has descended into madness over the last few weeks, and I think some of you don't miss on this. Go do your Google on this. Donald Trump's got this big uh, rally going at Madison Square Garden. There's a direct parallel to a big rally that happened in the mid 1930s at Madison Square Garden. And and don't think that he doesn't know for one second exactly what they're doing it's there. A, the, he, That's the, exactly, the, and he's exactly the, right. But the suggestion is that it's intentional to try to be a Nazi rally. No, it's intentional to try to spread division, to try to vilify and dehumanize your political opposition, which is exactly what happened in Nazi Germany in the 30s, which is exactly what was promoted Spike, at that rally in New York City in the 30s. Spike, I'm not wrong. Listen to MSNBC's coverage of it. But that jamboree happening right now, you see it there on your screen, in that place is particularly chilling because in 1939, more than 20,000 supporters of a different fascist leader, Adolf Hitler, packed the garden for a so-called pro-America rally. This to me just feels like if you're going to- Hyperbole? If you're, if you're making a closing argument to mm -hmm. people, if you're going to try to convince people, hey, you know what? Uh, I should be the person that you vote for for president. That's what Kamala Harris's job is. She's yeah, trying to convince people and that Trump's they as want, well. They've got to convince people mm -hmm. that they want four more years of what they've been getting. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that, according to Hillary and Tim Waltz and MSNBC, I'm what I'm saying is I think you can make a very effective argument for Kamala Harris that doesn't include Oh, by the way, Trump is a Nazi, and he wants to be Hitler, and everybody who you, supports you, Trump is you, a is a Hitler loving no, Nazi. No, and nobody, no one has said that. Find me any tape anywhere of anybody saying that, because that's not what's going what on. What are all the references for? If pointing out pointing out the political um, strategy of the Trump campaign and its surrogates, which you think is Hitler like? I think no, I think is fascistic. He's he's acting like a fascist. What is a fascist? A fascist is a single centered. Uh, 
political uh, where one one person is in charge of the party authoritarian far right yeah. far right leaning authoritarian disregard for law vilification of political opponents dehumanizing of political opponents all those things came to play in New York yesterday all of them along the campaign trail you know I, but hold on real quick I want to get to this please Pe- uh, d- people called Donald Trump a fascist and and the right lost Kamala, their minds Kamala called, Kamala him, Kamala a called him a fascist yeah. right and they lost their minds right I mean Speaker Speaker Johnson lost his mind. Mitch McConnell lost his mind because it's dangerous, it's, right? I think it's fair. I think it's totally fair for people to be offended when somebody calls you a fascist. So, so for the I could play or you for six. somebody makes a comparison to Hitler. So, I, okay, but but let's let's not go to Hitler because they're not. No, yes, they're, they're going to Hitler no, all the time. They're, no, they're 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 again. No, putting, they're Spike, again. There was hold an on, they're, they're highlighting last week that yeah. wrote they didn't think Hitler did it. They said, all right. Trump is like Hitler, Mussolini, and Stalin all rolled into one. What I'm saying is this is ridiculous. Comparisons like this are ridiculous. So when, you can, so you when, can Trump, called, person, when Trump called Harris a fascist a half a dozen times over the last three months. I don't think Trump should be calling somebody a fascist either. Fair, I don't think I anybody, anybody should be I calling anybody, anybody a fascist. I didn't see anybody losing it's their mind. It's a very different thing. I didn't see anybody. Fascism the, and Democratic agreed. Party and uh, the Republicans are right? not the same thing at all. Uh, it's not Hitler. It, it's fascism, and nobody Spike, and, and I just nobody can't believe that you believe that. I, I'm telling you, it's not just me who believes it. It's his former chief of staff, his former head of uh, the, the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's the former head of uh, uh, his defense secretary. It's people who know what the meaning of fascism is, sees firsthand what this guy has done and is doing, you think and what he's leaned be, into. Listen, yeah, uh, former employees, I get it. Uh, but yeah. Do you think? Do you think that this is an effective strategy? Do you think people are listening to that, going like, "Hey, you know what? They're right." He's Hitler. Let's not vote again, for him. Again, you're, you keep going that hyperbolic leap. No, I'm not going the hyperbolic leap. They're I'm saying, not Hillary Clinton saying, saying it. They're saying he's a fascist. You're, you're saying, saying those are different things. I do. Absolutely. Okay. You bet. I think we can I, disagree. I agree yeah, to disagree sure. Of course we one. can. And I'll still come and uh, I'll take your kids out trick-or-treating. So I think you're a hell of a guy, and I love who you are. Well, you but on this, we disagree. I'm going to do it. No, but, I know. But but I, know you I, I appreciate that we have a different <laughs> I, point of view on I this. I agree with you, buddy. I, I agree I agree that you, your point of view, I respect it. Aye, 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 as aye, much as I disagree with it. All right. got a lot more coming up on the show, and it's not all going to be fascism stuff. No, no, no. We're going to talk about preschool. Because this, this is the new <laughs> Jake and Spike show. All right. We're going to be back here. Hang around.